And you yeah. see my personality is coming out again. And, and then I get myself in trouble again. And I come back crying to Jerry again. Please help me. Fix me. And so I'm starting to learn. You know, I'm starting to learn who I am. Because that, that behavior has been coming out for years now. Over and over and repeat. And in a polarized thing. It's, it's, it comes out. So, for instance, I discovered vegetarianism and veganism. Mm -hmm. And I was like, threw it, everything out the window. I've been, like, I'd eaten meat and stuff my entire life. Okay? For probably three meals a day. And I really liked the ideas and everything. I really liked the, you know, the animal cruelty, all these sorts of ideas and things, not, not getting into that, some health benefits, this sort of thing. So instead of saying maybe one day a week I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll not eat meat or something. Instead I say, I'm never eating meat again. <laughs> I'm never eating any products whatsoever again. And that's my personality come out, and then you start to get yourself in trouble in there too. You start to get a little bit of deficits and sort of things because I have no idea what I'm doing whatsoever. You're uh, just making it up as I'm just you go making along. Everything up whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe a quick Google search or something, and that's what my what I'm using to inform myself. Once again, self coaching. These are some of the problems. Alrighty, guys, welcome to the video. So that was uh, Lionel Sanders and Bob Babbitt talking uh, a few years back, but you know he mentions his transition from a you know pretty standard, I guess, American diet, even though he's Canadian, um, where it was quite meat heavy to a completely vegan diet and this he kind of i guess quote unquote you know without misinterpreting what i say here he 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 failed on the diet in a sense because you know his performance kind of declined but obviously we know there's a lot more to it than this um there are many factors here the predominant thing that i i mean we can account for overtraining um the wrong types of training um pushing too hard when his body needed rest um all this kind of stuff but I think if you look at his body, even he lost a significant amount of weight and he was already extremely lean, but quite muscular. And he really depends on, I think, that level of muscle for the way in which he, you know, kind of is a, a, a power focused athlete in Ironman even. Um, but he lost a significant amount of weight, much of that being muscle, you know, you'd say upward of 10 pounds even. Um and did he really need to? Well, I guess the idea is that, yeah, you're going to run quicker. Um, but, you know, he kind of really suffered from losing so much weight. And to put that down to the diet in and of itself or a vegan diet as an umbrella, I guess is a bit too lazy. You know, we really need to address many factors. Um, but like he said, he did no research. I assume he kind of tested his blood very little, little or if at all um, for his micronutrients and all that kind of stuff his prior condition to undertake, you know, prior to undertaking the diet. Um, but where I think he really went wrong, given that he trains many, many hours a week, you know, way more than any normal person would, he expends a significant amount of energy on a daily basis and he needs a significant amount of energy to recover. I really think he just tried to go too natural and to, con to preface this, or to, to provide some context to what I mean by that. He tried to, um, you know, if you look back on his previous videos, uh, on his Instagram, etc., he was really eating a lot of um, whole foods. And for your everyday person who's really not expending a whole lot of energy, I think this is like, you know, probably going to be fine. But he has such a high caloric man demand that eating whole foods and getting enough um, pure energy in the form of glucose from and then and then even your carbohydrates and pro oh, sorry your proteins and fats is going to be very difficult and given that he was eating quite a processed diet prior he was eating a lot of lollies in between in between in between training he was eating um you know pretty basic foods but highly processed generally um in conjunction with healthy stuff switching to a very whole foods diet is going to limit your capacity to get those, you know, essential calories in. And this is where it's almost like for someone doing that level of endurance training, eating quote unquote, like unhealthy is almost, I guess for many people, a necessity because in order to reach the amount of caloric demands that you, that you require, it's very difficult to do through whole foods. And um, he just, he really went, you know, if you go back through some of the previous videos, he went very, uh, natural. He was eating seeds, um, a lot of fruits, a lot of veggies, but not a lot of refined stuff. And obviously 
the refined stuff isn't as micronutrient dense, but it does give you those macronutrients or the, the total kind of calories that you need, I guess. Um, so I think that's really where he went wrong, is that if you look at it, um, not from a quantity perspective, but from an overall calorie perspective, he just under ate. He really did under eat. And this is where, you know, people transition to vegetarianism or veganism and they go and they try and make their diet so clean and pure that it just kind of prevents them from reaching their caloric needs. Because obviously if you're eating all whole foods, you're getting all the fiber, you're getting everything else, which is good, it's healthy. But to try and eat enough, and then even if you do eat enough, the demand on the body to kind of digest it and process it and extract what you need, you know, you're really doing yourself an injustice if you're not getting some, I guess, and always context, at this higher level, at this higher demand, some of those processed foods in, you know, whether that's pure sugars, whether that's um, uh, pastas, rice, all that kind of stuff, just to meet the demands of what you're doing, you know? So I think that's really the, I guess, the primary reason as to why he suffered. It's from many things, overtraining, etc but just not meet, not eating enough. And this is evident with his body. You know, if you look at the way his body changed, he was very muscular, very lean, still the same level of leanness, but just a whole lot of uh, weight loss, which obviously, you know, you're going to lose power. You're going to lose, um, you probably became somewhat anemic, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. So obviously I think that a vegan diet, vegetarian diet, yeah, you can perform it really well, if not better because of the, um, ease at which some of those foods are digested and many other things, which I'm not going to go into in this video, provided you look at things like iron, B12, but this is for anyone. You can eat meat and have the deficiencies in these, you know, micronutrients. Um, but I think he just failed to get the amount of calories in that he really needed to sustain the metabolic functions of the physiological demands, the recovery, etc. Um, and so it's a bit of a disappointing thing that people will look at that and use it as an example of why not to try these or, or why not to go in one way or the other. Um, again, I think that the, you know, we have this kind of polarizing discussion in social media where it's like people are attracted to one extreme. You've got vegan, you've got carnivore at the opposite end. You know, the, 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 the way to go probably lies somewhere in the middle, but I think that definitely a vegan diet can work and in many cases has improved the performance of some athletes. Um, but you've just got to remember that your, I guess, drive to have the cleanest, most organic, nutritious, um, whole food diet may not be possible if you're expending so much energy. So, you know, many of the times when athletes go vegan and they fall into this trap and then they start to incorporate some of the more processed stuff, um, they do go better purely because they're meeting their caloric needs. Now, this is the distinction between pure health and performance. And I don't think you can have both if you are training 30 plus hours a week for something like Ironman. I think you can definitely incorporate them both and be very healthy, but you still need to eat some of the very high energy dense foods in order to meet your needs. Um, Obviously, the first sign would have been when he started losing weight. You know, that would have been the first check. The performance went down. I guess he should have really had some blood tests, seen his uh, hematocrit hemoglobin, seen where his B12, iron, ferritin levels were, all that kind of stuff. Hormones even, testosterone, thyroid production, etc. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty simple. I don't think like the reason why he went poor on the diet was purely because he wasn't eating X, Y, or Z like he was before in regards to, you know, whether it's meat or plants, I think it's purely because he just tried to go too pure, you know, too organic, too whole foods and didn't get enough, you know, of the basic essentials that he needed or supplement with, um, you know, enough kind of processed stuff in order to meet those needs. Not that that's, not that the average person who's like not exercising at all and sits on the couch all day should be aiming for those same needs. You know, it's probably easier for them to be more, pure organic whole foods, but I think it's purely comes down to a calories in or a, or a lack of from Lionel's perspective. Um, and it would have been interesting if he had had have really ramped up the amount of, 
you know, some of the more that are considered unhealthy vegan foods, but um, how he would have went purely because he would have been eating more calories to support those needs. So that's my kind of take on why Lionel struggled on a vegan diet. Um, you know, you, you don't want to go into this stuff uneducated. Like you said, you don't want to be going in blind. You always want to be getting your bloods done. You want to be getting them done whenever you make changes because you just never know what's kind of going on under the hood, so to speak. Um, but I think a trap is to, people are attracted to veganism from a weight loss perspective and it can definitely help that. Um, but I think that when you look at anything with a restrictive mindset, you really do set yourself up for the potential to fail. And I'm not saying this is purely the reason why it didn't work out for him. You know, I guess that everyone's genetics are different. Everyone has, everyone will, we have, you know, we have basic physiology, then we have individual genetics and what works one, really well for one person may not work as well for the other. So whether he could do well on a vegan diet, I believe he could, but um, I think he really needed to incorporate a lot more of the uh, basic macro carbohydrates, protein, fats into his diet in order to meet his caloric needs because I think he was just really restricting um, from a sense of trying to be as healthy as possible, but not necessarily considering the fact that in order to support the training, you really do need to have the energy coming in. So that's my take on the issue. Let me know what you guys think in the comments um, and your experience with different diets and how you felt and, and what's kind of helped and what hasn't. So thanks guys. And again, this is not, I'm, I try not to be polarized in any of my views. I, I tend to gravitate more towards the idea that, um, eating more plant-based foods is going to be better for your long-term health. If you look at, you know, different areas of the world, what people eat, um, the levels of obesity, etc. Um, but I don't think it's like you have to go 100% in one direction or the other in order to you know achieve the performance or the health benefits you know i think the, it, it probably lies somewhere in the middle um but that's my opinion let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next video